and the Johnson was already aboard the airplane. Now, I can go on and tell you what I was going to say, what, because you were actually the pool reporter who was inside Air Force One when right. Johnson took the oath. Smith? Why don't we hold that for just okay. a second, and then we'll come back, because I think okay. that's a, sure. a very... Uh, the way I, uh, as many of you in the... Because I've told this story about a thousand times now. The way I got to uh, Dallas that day, as I was the night police reporter for the Fort Worth Star-Telegram inside Air Force One that's when right. Johnson took the oath. Smith? Why don't we hold that for just okay. a second and then we'll come back because I think okay. that's a... I was very upset because I hadn't been assigned to cover Kennedy when he came to Fort Worth that night. But the next day when he was shot, I was asleep because I didn't get off till 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I normally slept well past noon. And my brother, who was in high school, uh, came in and uh, woke me up and said, you better get to work, the president's been shot. And I was just, just completely discombobulated to find out this news. To make a long story short, by the time I got to the city room, uh, I didn't get off till 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I normally slept well past noon. And my brother, who was in high school, uh, came in and they had, it had come over the radio that the president was dead. And I was just trying to help answer the phones. A woman, uh, I picked up one phone and she says, is there anybody there who can give me a ride to Dallas? And I said, lady, you know, this is not the taxi service and besides the president's been shot. And she said, yes, I, I heard it on the radio. I think my 